Well, the closure of Northeastern Pennsylvania's only private psychiatric hospital is still being felt four months later. Many patients at the former First Hospital Kingston were kids and teens in crisis. In a joint reporting project with the Times leader called Invisible Battles, 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Killer explains how a local educational service provider provides support to school districts and students before the crisis arises. You did a great job. I was really proud of you. The accolades are for 14-year-old Isaiah Moore, a ninth grader at Lighthouse Academy. He credits the site for helping him overcome mental health struggles that once had him acting out. I used to have really bad anger issues. Like, if I got mad, I would, like, throw stuff at people and cuss them out. Since enrolling in October 2021, he's learned some coping skills. I hold my breath and I breathe in and I breathe out. Like, when someone makes me angry, I just... You know it. The teen is just one of the success stories at Lighthouse Academy, which is run by Luzerne Intermediate Unit 18. LIU works with a dozen school districts and two career technology centers to provide education and emotional services to students in need. The Lighthouse Academy in particular is a place that has complete wraparound services both on the educational side and the mental health or therapeutic side. Dr. Anthony Greco has served as LIU's executive director for 10 plus years. Over the last decade, mental health need, at least the awareness of need, has grown exponentially amongst our student populations. Some students come directly to Lighthouse Academy for services, but not all of them need to, with the help of LIU. Nine-year-old Jonathan Bytus Jr., diagnosed with severe ADHD, receives counseling, therapy, and medication, along with education support, all through school-based behavioral health at Greater Nanticoke Area School District. There's some, been some difficult points, but slowly, gradually, he's been getting there. They've been slowly pulling him less and less times out of class to see how he'll take it, and it's been working slowly. They don't only focus on the child at hand. They focus on the family as well. It's not just the child, it's everybody. Because they understand it's not that easy to have a child that suffers from a mental health condition. While the Bytus' son required mental health services before the pandemic, many other young people started receiving them only since then. It's contributed to a crushing demand on outpatient services considered critical to help prevent a student's mental health crisis. We have approximately 20 centers uh, located in across three counties in Wyoming, uh, Luzerne, and Lackawanna counties, um, and over 400 uh, individuals that are currently being serviced. And the, the demand is exceeding the, the supply of licensed uh, counselors and qualified counselors to meet those, those students' needs. Partial hospitalization and outpatient are really on the rise, and a lot of that is because of the, the closing of the hospital. First Hospital, a 149-bed psychiatric facility, closed in October 2022, putting a burden on northeastern Pennsylvania medical facilities that do not specialize in treating severe mental disorders. These kids are waiting in our local hospitals for two to three days. Oftentimes they're stable, um, doesn't mean that they're fixed, it just means that they're stable enough to go home. Left without the proper diagnosis and treatment, Along the, the consequences could be tragic. But help is on the way for struggling students. It comes in the form of a more than $7 million grant, much of which will focus upon suicide prevention. LIU will use that federal funding from the Project Advancing Wellness and Resiliency in Education grant over four years. The funding will help LIU achieve three goals, expand suicide awareness training opportunities for students, implement a universal mental health screener for school staffs, and create an electronic data system to connect mental health practitioners with community-based mental health providers. They'll be able to find out what agencies have openings and what um, have waiting lists on a much quicker, more efficient uh, electronic system. Creating more tools to help our children and adolescents caught in the invisible battles of mental health. With the health beat in Plains Township, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. Head to pahomepage.com to learn much more about Luzerne's immediate units, Lighthouse Academy, and check out the rest of our Invisible Battles reporting. And you can read the final Invisible Battles reporting from our news partner, The Times Leader, in Tuesday's online edition. So check that out.